Nick Harris with Rivals.com here with four-star wide receiver Jonte Cook. Jonte, kind of just talk to me about being here at Future 50 and what you're hoping to prove this weekend. I mean, you know, it's a great opportunity to be here, compete with some of the best guys in the country in my class, uh, you know, and I'm just trying to prove that I'm the best receiver in the country. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, recent commitment to Texas. Texas has been surging uh, on the recruiting trail in general. Just kind of speak about this class and what y'all are building. I mean, this is a very special class. You know, Coach Sark is definitely, you know, going hard on this 23 class because, you know, that, sec that this is about to be his second year as a head coach. So, you know, like, I feel like they – you know, they're going to be – I don't think they'll win it all this year, you know, not make the playoffs, but, you know, they'll be up there, you know. Definitely, I hope they win the Big 12 for sure, you know, and then as they we keep going up the ranks, I feel like, you know, our second year in college, you know, the 23 class, that'll probably be the year that we're ready to, you know, go really compete. So I feel like he's trying to lay all the foundation down now, you know, get the good guys, you know, the playmakers, and we're going to be ready to roll. Yeah, and his philosophy kind of bounces around to the entire coaching staff. Talking about uh, Brennan Marion and him coming in and recruiting you, what's your relationship like with him, and why do you want to play for him? Because Marion my dog, man, and it's just like he's relatable. Like He understands everything that, I, that I'm going through and where I'm coming from. Like, And it's just like he's a developer. Uh, he had the freaking Belenikoff winner last year, so it's just like – why not play for some guys like that, bro? Like, and why not play for Texas, man? Like, Coach, Coach Sark, like, the offense that he had at Bama, like, it's proven that if you got the guys to do it, like, it's easy. Like, that Bama offense, he made that offense look so easy. Like, they were just running by people, running around people, man. And it's just, it's, they're definitely building something. And the vision, like, I can see where they're, where they're going with it. And I want to be a part of that and help them get there. Yeah, we talked about this whenever you committed, but the connection that you and Arch Manning had, it started on that camp visit when uh, y'all were going into your junior year. Yeah. Just kind of from there, and, and now you are actually officially going to be teammates. How does it kind of feel now that it's, 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 it's happening? I mean, it feels great. I ain't going to lie, it definitely feels great. Like, and I like being committed because I can talk trash about everybody else. You know, And them Texas fans going to have my back. So yeah. it feels great, man, just knowing that Arch Manning going to be QB1. Uh, Quinn Ewer is going to be QB1 before Arch, so two of the best guys I've ever seen play the quarterback position. Uh, Coach Sark calling the plays, man. It's, I, like I say, I feel like I want to do The receivers in our class, I feel like I want to do I got Arch Manning, though. <laughs> so it don't get better than that, really. Yeah, absolutely. And kind of just looking around uh, at some positions of need. I know the secondary is still uh, something that the, the staff is really trying to recruit. Malik Muhammad's here this weekend. There are some other guys. Who are you really talking to the most right now, trying to get him to come in the class? I had already told you. Malik. We're getting Malik. Malik will be a Longhorn. July 20th, Malik Muhammad will be a Longhorn. Uh, Javion Toviano, you know, he's kind of hard to get in contact with, but, you know, still been trying to push for him. You know, I try to sway stuff at him when I can, you know. Ain't Hill, he gonna be a long horn. Definitely need that big guy. Uh, Darian Gallette, linebacker from Mar Marlin, he's gonna be a long horn. Need that guy on the defense, you know. And my, my, my partner in crime, Jalen Hill, he's gonna be a long horn. So, Arch gonna have two guys for sure that can, that can go. You know, I was kind of thinking about this earlier. You and Jalen, I think you complement each other very well. How would you kind of see yourselves fitting in an offense together? Man, I was thinking about that on the, on the plane ride, bro. It's just like, it's two different type of receivers, like so. It's like Jalen, you know, he big, bro, deep threat. He can run all them deep routes, and pretty much, bro. I feel like his his jump ball ratio to me is like 90 to 10, bro. Like when the ball go up, bro, it ain't too many times I've seen him not come down with it. Like so, he gonna go get the ball, and then with me, man, I can just, I really can do whatever you want me to do, bro. Like I can go get it, I can run the routes, I can. The short game is open. Whatever you need me to do, I can yeah. do it. So. Yeah. And uh, the, the whole Texas is back moniker has been kind of a, a joke to kind of throw around on social media for like the last five to ten years. Why do you believe Texas will be back when you're when you're in Austin? For one, Jontae Cook is on the team. That's why Texas is going to be back. Nah, but I mean, bro, look, look, look at the players. What I feel like Coach Sarkeesian is finally doing is what uh, Tom Herman and Charlie Strong didn't do. They are not recruiting actual football players. They didn't recruit actual football players. Coach Sark is recruiting football players because at the end of the day, the game is won with football players. Like guys that actually, you throw the ball out there and you say, go play football, who gonna be the best players? That's what Coach Sark is recruiting. So, I mean, I feel like you put too many of us guys on the team together, we are gonna be unstoppable, bro. Sure. Four-star Texas commit, John T. Cook, looking to ball out this weekend here in Bradenton, Florida.